How many moles are found in 5.35 times 10 to the power of 22 molecules or formula units of NaCl? And so here's where the, the whole notion of factor labeling comes into play and why we're, we're, I've been using that whole times a set of fractions. So we have 5.35 times 10 to the power of 22 molecules okay, of NaCl. So we want to cancel out molecules. We don't want those units. So we're going to put molecules here at the bottom. But in, and so now we're going to cancel out molecules. But we know that we have 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules in one mole of something. Because we're being asked to find how many moles. So we're going backwards now. We're going in the opposite direction to get what we're looking for. Right? So in actuality, what we're doing is really we're just dividing this by that, according to the way I showed you guys the, um, the formula. Okay? Or you can use the factor labeling method to be able to cancel things out. So we're going to multiply 5.35 times 10 to the power of 22 by 1, and then divide it by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, okay? And we end up getting 0.089 mole of NaCl. So we have three significant digits in our question. So we should simplify our answer to 0.0890 mole of NaCl. Okay, notice here, one, two, this zero we don't need, but we've made it significant by adding Okay, because it is after the decimal. So, next question. How many moles are found in 6.39 times 10 to the power of 22 atoms of carbon? Okay, so we know that because we're going from moles, okay, using atoms, okay, we can either go 6.39 times 10 to the power of 22 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, okay? Or we can start off with atoms. We want to cancel out atoms. So we know that we have 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms in one mole, okay? So we can use it in one of these two ways, and we get the following answer. 0.106 moles of carbon atoms, 